This is a video demonstration of a custom installation of Ghost Solution Suite 3. There are four components to complete the installation. There is the Ghost Solution Suite installation file. There is the semantic license file. There is the file system independent resource file, or simply the firm file, to build the Linux preboot OS. And there is the Windows ADK setup files to build the WinPE preboot OS. Let's begin by first right clicking on the Ghost Solution Suite setup file and selecting Run as Administrator, which you'll then be presented with the extraction options. Now you do have the option to extract the setup files to the current user's temp folder. However, it is recommended that you extract it to a specified folder, which by default will be the DS setup folder. Next, you can choose to extract the installation files only and then at a later stage, run the installation. To do that, you'll go to the DS setup folder, right click on the axinstall.exe file and run as administrator. For this demo, I'm going to select to extract the files and automatically launch the AX install file. Just note the file extraction has been accelerated for this demo. Once the files finish extracting, the setup is automatically launched and you are presented with the type of installation you wish to perform. The simple installation is used for an all-in-one installation where you install all components onto a single server. The simple installation is great for small environments or for testing situations. You also have the option to include or exclude the Pixie server from the Go Solution Suite server itself. This is useful if you have your application servers and your client computers on separate networks. In this demonstration, we'll perform a custom installation which will allow us to install all the components either on the local server or on a remote server and configure certain options. Having marked the custom install option, click on the install button to begin the installation. You are then presented with the software license agreement. Click yes to accept the license agreement. Next, you define the deployment network share. This share is where image files are stored along with other items such as packages and scripts used for creating and deploying images. The default share is the location of the program files folder. However, it is recommended to first create a share on a file server with sufficient storage space and then specify this as the file server path. Alternatively, if the storage will be on the local server, you can select the option to create the deployment share at the specified local path during the installation. If you have a license available, you can add that here. Otherwise, you can click on Next and the built-in trial license will be used. You can always add another license once the product has been installed. The next page gives us the configuration options of the Ghost Solution Suite server. In this demo, it will be installed on the local computer. And as you can see, many of the configurations options are pre-populated. Confirm that the IP address is correctly set and that the data manager port does not conflict with another port already used in your environment. Finally, enter the administrator credentials which will be used as the service account for the application. You will notice that you also have the option to install MS SQL Server 2014 Express Edition. Now, In this simple installation, this is automatically installed for you. During the custom installation, you get the option of manually selecting it. In this demo, we actually install it to an off-box SQL server. So click Next and we'll see the configuration options for SQL. The installation will then attempt to actually locate any SQL servers running on your network. If none are found, it's most likely either a firewall issue or it's quite possible that the Microsoft SQL browser service is not running. 
If that is the case, simply enter the SQL server name and the SQL port number manually. If you wish, you can change the default database name from Express to something else which you desire. Once done, click Next. Now select if you want to use Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication. After clicking Next, it will actually attempt to validate the connection to the database. On the Preboot Operating Systems page, you get to select which Preboot Operating System files you want to supply during the installation. Now this section is actually optional. You can always create the Preboot OS's once the installation is actually complete. If you are installing the product for the first time and are not familiar with the boot disk creator, it is recommended that you supply the preboot OS files during the installation phase. To add the Linux preboot OS files, you actually select the firm file which is supplied with the product. The same file is used to build both the 32-bit preboot OS as well as the 64-bit preboot OS. In the same manner, you need to supply the Windows ADK setup files to create the WinPE 32-bit preboot OS as well as the WinPE 64-bit preboot OS. It is recommended that you have the Windows ADK files already downloaded and available for the installation. If not, you can simply click on the link supplied during the installation which will take you to the Microsoft website to download the Windows ADK files. Next, you are presented with the Pixie Server configuration page. In this demo, we will install the Pixie Server on a remote computer which is a Windows 2008 32-bit operating system. You can browse the network and select the computer or you can enter the computer name and the IP address manually. If you select it through the browse network, it will automatically populate the IP address. Notice that the Ghost Solution Suite Server IP address is automatically populated. And if you look at the Pixie Server install path, notice that it's still using the x86. This is the default for a 64-bit installation. So I'm going to remove that to reflect that I'm going to install this onto a 32-bit OS. Then I'm going to select WinPE as the default preboot OS which the Pixie server is going to serve to the client computers. After clicking Next, you'll be presented with a warning that DHCP services must be running on the network for Pixie to function correctly. Next, we enter the credentials of an administrative account so we can successfully install the Pixie server on the remote computer. This account will be validated before continuing. And finally, you will be asked how you want client computers to connect to the Ghost Solution Suite server. They can either connect directly or via multicast. Now it is recommended to use a direct connection to make it easier to troubleshoot network connectivity issues. The last installation item you need to configure is where you want to install the Ghost Solution Suite console. It is recommended that you always install the console on the same server as the Ghost Solution Suite server and then any subsequent consoles onto remote computers. Next you'll be presented with the list of components that will be installed. Click install once you're ready to begin the installation. In this demo, the installation time has been accelerated. However, in practice, it will take 
around one hour to complete the installation. This is mostly due to the time it takes for the pre-boot operating system files to be loaded and generated. Once the installation is complete, you'll be presented with the installation information summary and also the option to remotely install the Ghost Solution Suite agent onto your client computers. It is recommended that you first verify that the installation was successful and then from within the console, push out the agent to your client computers. Click Finish to complete the installation. As a final step, double click on the Ghost Solutions Suite console icon and ensure that it successfully opens. This concludes the video demonstration of a custom installation of Ghost Solutions Suite.